What is up Dinesh here and in this video I will tell you how exactly you can become a VR developer. So if that's something that you want to get into then definitely watch the video until the end otherwise you will just miss out and then not become a developer. I have been working in the VR AR field for now 4 plus years so I've worked in agencies and startups and corporates and basically all kinds of fields working with many different kinds of headsets so all the VR devices of course then the HoloLens, the iPhone, Android, Magic Leap, HoloLens 2 at the moment so I can tell you exactly what is needed in the industry and how we can build up your skill set and your knowledge to exactly come to this step as well. But first make sure that you subscribe below so you don't miss any videos and yeah I will post many 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 videos now on VR AR not only development also on AR VR creation on the industry on businesses basically bringing everyone together to shape the world with XR. But let's get into the video now. The first thing is it's quite obvious but you should have a VR headset definitely or you should at least like consuming VR so really like playing games do all of those things um, is helpful and is needed so really like playing for the research so when you play you are actually productive which is cool right the oculus quest made vr much more affordable now and this is really like the go-to headset if you have this one then you can really do almost everything already so if you don't have a headset already then definitely get one but don't make the mistake that i did or still do and play beat saver like 24 7 and nothing else that's not easy so you really want to try out a bunch of VR content so there are games there are experiences there are like experiments and really just try to not only do it isolated just involve everyone and then just see what they like what they don't like how they feel when they get motion sick and all of those things just help you to become a much much better person for VR basically I mean it's not limited to development but if you want to get into the VR field then you should be in VR as well the next thing is that you want to learn an engine that helps you create VR applications there are many ways and many tools how you can achieve that but the go-to industry standard is really like just learn unity or unreal engine so one of those two and you are definitely just set 100% because basically every industry, every agency, or game studio, whatever you want to call it, are working with Unity or Unreal and all the tools, all the headsets, everything that comes out is gonna be for those two first. So you are very, very safe if you go with Unity or Unreal. The decision is of course up to you. There are quite some differences between those two. The main difference, the most important thing as for now as a developer is that Unity works with C Sharp and on Unreal you have to write it in C++ or the blueprints, so the visual coding. And there's a lot more onto it, but um, that's out of the scope for this video. If you want me to cover like the difference, the exact difference for VR AR development between Unity and Unreal, then definitely let me know in the comments below and I will make a video on it. Just for your interest on this channel or I myself, I'm a Unity developer. I know like half of the people will hate me now and the other half will love me because it's always like a Coca-Cola versus Pepsi thing or like a Mac versus Windows thing. I mean on VR it makes more sense on Windows because it's quite complicated with Mac, like everything. <laughs> Just kidding. But with Windows you have less complications running VR stuff. Also if you don't know where to get started then there are a lot of Unity tutorials online and yeah, check out my channel, check out my videos. I've done a lot of I think like 50-70 videos on Unity development for VR AR so if you don't know where to go just start here. The cool thing is that with Unity and Unreal you are not only limited to VR or AR you can basically do almost everything which is regarded like a 3D visualization. So they started out as a game engine but nowadays they are used heavily in education, in the automotive industry, in architecture and many many other things as well 
and yeah so you can do very powerful AR VR applications but also 2D mobile games or anything else. Number three is know about the industry and know about things outside of only programming. So you really want to have an understanding of what is going on right now. So there are different headsets that are coming out regularly and um, the SDKs, the tools, even the games and stuff like this, the applications. And there is a lot going on in this industry, just so, so much. And yeah, you don't want to miss out or you don't want to be um, outdated and that goes quite fast in this industry. So really subscribe to um, some creators, some magazines, some manufacturers and then you are always up to date. Number four, and that is something that many developers don't do at all actually, and that is learn software development outside of your platform or outside of your engine that you're using. So if you're a Unity developer, then learn C Sharp outside of Unity. So really learn the structures, learn the classes, learn how encapsulation works and solid principle, blah, 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 all of that software stuff. So you don't want to be all in on only Unity because then you really have only the small piece of what it's actually about to be a developer or be a VR developer. So there is a lot more than only this universe. I know it's very big already. You can spend like all your life on Unity or on Unreal and all the updates and stuff like this. But don't ignore the ac actual C Sharp or C++ practice that you also need to learn. I mean, you don't need to learn like everything there is. Just um, take some of your time and then spend it also on software patterns and on C Sharp updates, stuff like this, and just learn like the general practices. It also helps to sometimes build something outside of Unity, but that comes when you are a bit farther ahead. For now, just learn the basics of C Sharp, for example, depending of course on your knowledge at the moment, but um, don't forget to go outside of this little universe. And the last thing, and that is something that helped me so, 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 so much, which is create a portfolio. Especially in software development, there is nothing more important than having something to show. And by portfolio, it just can be your GitHub repository. We had people who applied to become a developer for whatever, and they just sent their GitHub repository and that was already enough. That's a lot better than having nothing to show. I mean, if you have an app created already, then just show it. And that is exactly what I did. And that was the best thing ever. So basically I went to every single job interview and they just showed them my phone and the app that I've created. That was back then a 2D platform Unity game, which was pretty cool. Um, and that got me like every job, like instantly like super fast and just because i had something that i could show to the people um, just occasionally i got a job while i went to a random event we were like drinking beers and stuff like this and then i just showed some random people my application and i just got my very first unity job so fast it can be so always have your work presentable and this is so so powerful and that has been the best thing that i have ever done in my life i mean my developer life. So to sum it up, first obviously own a headset that helps you the most, then learn a game engine, so it could be Unity or Unreal, that those are the ones that I really recommend you to use, and learn about the industry of course, just subscribe to some magazines, and um, follow them on social media, that's all you have to do basically, and scroll through it sometimes, then learn about general software development and build a portfolio. If you do those things, then I can guarantee you, if you apply to a VR company or AR company, doesn't really matter, or a game company as well, then you are very, very set to go. But really don't forget to just start. That's all. That's like the, the fundamental of everything. If you don't just do it, do then it. Um, you will get nowhere. So if you have a headset already, then decide on the engine that you want to try out. And it's really just, we are really trying out. So maybe you have some experience in C Sharp or C++ or you know what kind of direction you want to go, then you are set already. So if you want me to cover something, then definitely let me know because I get based my videos on your feedback, of course. And yeah, so this is it for the video. If you liked it, then please leave a like. It helps me a lot because YouTube will push it to more people then. 
and I can create more videos for you. Leave a comment in the section below. And yeah, if you want to get started, then definitely feel free to watch this playlist. And as always, I see you in the next one.